Hello everyone and welcome to Christmas morning. Not really, it's the middle of January, but for Christmas, my wife and my in-laws got me a Haas self-centering vise. And I haven't had a chance to open it yet. It's been busy. So it's now the, what, the 19th of January? The 19th of January, and I have not yet opened this Haas self-centering vise. So today we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna do a what's included, and then we're gonna throw it on the Tormach, and we're gonna see if there's any uplift. We're gonna test it out a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I'm currently using for vices. So I'm looking for something that's just a little bit more accurate. I've also got a five axis machine on the way. So I'm gonna need a self-centering vise. So I'm really excited for this. Let's do an unboxing and see what's included with this Haas five inch self-centering vise. Look at this, cutting the straps off. How fun is this? It really is like Christmas morning. Okay, talks about how to mount your work pieces. Don't mount them off center. Initial thoughts, this is very well packed. I will pull the vise out last. I'm gonna make you guys wait. So over here, looks like we've got some centering studs, mounting keys, that's nice, hardware. We have, hey, check that out. That's pretty nice, little ratchet. Doesn't look like it's a torque wrench. Comes with a little ratchet and the right size socket, 12 millimeter socket, very nice. We have over here more mounting hardware. So T-slot nuts, looks like a good amount of them actually. All different sizes, which is super nice because I've bought vices before that don't come with any of this stuff. Some deep T-slot nuts, um, some shallower ones. I mean, six T-slot nuts, that's super nice. Very nice of them to include that in the price. Um, some hold down toe clamps, looks like. These are also packaged well. You know how to get into this. It took a minute of the video for me to get this open. So your boy's struggling. Um, nice hold down toe clamps. Four of them to be precise. Nice and oily, so they're not gonna rust while they're shipped. And the moment you've been waiting for, how about the actual vise? Oh man, it's in there. Okay, and finally. Okay, let's do a quick little 360 view here. So, Lots of really nice engraving. You can see how wide your part is on the side here. Tells you which jaw is which. So right side here, they've got left side written out on it. Nice little serrated jaws. So I bought the serrated jaws from Haas for my Parlec vices. I absolutely love them. They're super easy to locate on. I love these little steps that they have built in and it really does hold the workpiece super nice. So these are flippable vice jaws. You get whatever width you get um, with them this way, or you can flip them around and you can get that extended width with this track here on the outside. Very pretty, nice ground surfaces. Got the Haas logo on there. You can see, so a way to mount here with those hold down toe clamps, one on each side. You also have the holes here to mount into. And I plan on buying the riser. I didn't need it right now, but I'll eventually buy the riser. Haas makes a riser that's specific for this. It's a quick little look around of the vise. It's pretty. Let's go clamp some work with it and see how it does in the actual shop setting. All right, so here's my current setup on my Tormach, and I wanna show you 
how the vise mounts on a Tormach. I have another job set up on my Cat 40 machine, so we can't use the Cat 40 machine right now, and it doesn't make much sense to put the self-centering vise on the horizontal mill. So we're gonna put it on the Tormach just to test the lift. We'll throw the Heimer on it, crank it down, see if we get any part lift. Um, I also want to see if the keys that come with the vise fit because this might be a really attractive offering for people that have Tormox if it fits the slots on the table of a Tormox. So let's check it out really quick. Let me show you my current setup and then the setup with the self-centering vise on my Tormox 770. I have the Glacern Machine Tools 5-inch vise and I have Carve Smart Jaws on it, which I love. Um, everything I have is Carve Smart, so I buy you know, all my soft jaw material from Kurt now that they acquired CarveSmart. But I've been a huge fan of CarveSmart for, I don't know, seven years now. The problem with the Glacern is that it overhangs right here and then you lose a little bit of travel on the front. So it really is, it, it opens as wide as the Haas Vice, but it's like just way more real estate on the table. Especially if you have like a 440, I think the self-centering vice would be way better than this. All right, so the Haas self-centering vise has a couple of mounting options for you if you have a Tormach. It looks like the alignment keys are going to go in this way, so you'd be mounting the vise sideways in the table. That's not the way I want to do it. I want to mount it front to back like this so that I can access the screw. So we're going to use the T-slot nuts that are included with the, with the Haas self-centering vise and they do fit the Tormach table perfect. So this is a great option if you have a Tormach. Let's throw it on the table quick and get it mounted up. Okay, so this is kind of what the real estate looks like on the table for the 770. I think you could fit realistically three of these Haas vices side by side if you wanted to mount longer parts, which would be super sweet. Um, obviously, the Glacern vise hangs off the front and it hangs off on the back a little bit. Um, once you get the carved smart jaws in here with the extruded aluminum, you know, you've only got maybe three inches of workpiece in there, which is fine. I mean, there's a lot of times I'll just take the aluminum out and clamp with this surface here. Um, but for op two stuff, I don't know. This combo is probably pretty nice. If you could get some carved smarts on the Haas, that would be sweet. But yeah, a pretty nice little compact package fits right on the table. Like I said, holy cow, you could do one, two, three of them in a row. You would be set up. Let's test the lift on this Haas self-centering vise really quick. All right, so here's the part just at rest. I have it zeroed out on the Heimer. I'm gonna give it just a little tiny torque here. The jaws are engaged. If I was doing this to set this job up, I mean, I'd probably just by fill go, I don't know, maybe that tight. Um, so we did see a little bit of deflection. Let's see if it continues to go the harder we twist on this sucker. Okay, so it is lifting the part just a little bit. We've seen probably fourth hour or so. It does lift the part just a little bit, but for a, for a first op, that's pretty minuscule. All right, so let's talk about pricing really quick. I got this Haas Vice on a super discount because of the Black Friday special that Haas was running. And they had insane deals, if you saw it. They had like ER call holders for 24 bucks. Um, the Vice they had, after all the discounts, they had it marked down 289 bucks. So I paid 709.97 for it. I also ordered an end mill here. Haas gives me free shipping because I'm part of the Inside Track Club. We'll do another video on that soon. But with the Inside Track Club discount and the Black Friday deal, I paid $709.97 and then we had a little bit of tax. So it was probably, I don't know, 760 bucks with tax or something like that out the door. Other comparable vices on the market, if you're to look at Kurt Workholding, they don't really have, I don't, and maybe they do, I just don't see it here on their, I don't see it on their website. But it looks like anything Kurt's gonna run you like 1200 to 1400 for a similar sized self-centering five axis vise. Uh, fifth axis, obviously a huge player in the game. The new fifth axis light vise is $729. That is actually pretty crazy. Um, it's made out of aluminum, obviously, so they can run it for cheaper. A self-centering vise for 729 bucks. That's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good option, honestly. I didn't realize they were that cheap for the fifth axis light vise. Um, the Shunk Contech, which you can buy off Titans of CNC, 
you can get the the same size contact vise, which is called the KSC3 125-160. Um, you can get that shunk vise for about fourteen seventy five, so fifteen hundred bucks for the shunk. All right, last but not least, we have the Lang Work Holding Macro Grip 125, and one of my biggest pet peeves in the machining industry is lack of price transparency. So there's nothing about the Lang vise. It's beautiful, but it looks very oddly similar to the Haas vise. So the Haas vise looks like a direct ripoff of the Lang vise. Even like the engraving, the logo, the color of the screw, it kind of looks like a ripoff of the Lang vise. So Haas might be trying to keep up with Lang it's probably more than the shunk or right around the price of the shunk. I would assume that the Lang Vice is probably somewhere between $15,000 to $2,000. Hope this was insightful. Hope you enjoyed seeing the Haas 5-axis Vice. Go make something cool. Thanks for being here. I will see you next time. Take care.